Hello and welcome to the new Power BI slash Power Query tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how you can replace the values within Power Query. So replacing a value is important. I will show you an actual use case where you can go and apply it, right? So that is something we will do it in Power Query. Before that, if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about uh, that this data set is what I use is this Power Query. BI data set which is under the main data set folder I have a power BI folder where I keep not only data set but some other file like my dashboard file logistic dashboard attrition dashboard and whatnot you can download and utilize it or see it what 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 I've done and then important information is about this uh, this sheet where I keep all of my power BI video for the title so the title is present here in column a and the link of the video video is present in column B. That way you can easily search any of my videos like these folks are doing and uh, if you have your own learning path or you want to create your own learning path you can do that. Also you can keep it as a bookmark and come back because I will keep expanding this list. So far it is 271 videos and uh, I think uh, very soon it will be touching 300. So make sure you bookmark and utilize it whenever you need it. Okay with that information let me go back and come over here. Let me first make sure I discard the changes so that there is nothing uh, which is present here. And then let me click on transform data to go inside the Power Query. So once I'm inside the Power Query, I can basically click on my Excel workbook to bring the data, which is the Power BI data set present over here. And then what I can do is uh, just wait for that dialog box to, to appear so that I can select that uh, sheet. Okay, so here it is. And then I can click OK. So once I click OK, it will basically open the detailed data in the Power Query. And then I can do as per work as per my needs. All right, so let me show you a scenario. So over here, if you see, the sales is formatted as ABC, right? So in that case, what you see over here is uh, this is a dollar sign because of which this is uh, this is basically converted into a text. So it may happen in in the in your case as well that uh, dollar sign is coming or some sign is coming because of which formatting is incorrect. So what you can do is you can either right click and you have replace values. Also you have the replace value option over here. But right clicking is easy. So what I'll do is. I'll come over here, right click and say replace values. And in the replace value option, then it will ask me dollar and I will replace it what nothing and I click OK. And then it is changed and then I can change this to the uh, fixed number decimal and then it is changed into a currency value, right? Same way you can apply it over here in profit, but in profit if you see you have this negative sign as well, right? So that is also a slightly tricky or an advanced use case that if you find anything like within bracket, so the first bracket, maybe you can replace it by negative sign and the second bracket, you can replace it by blank. That way you will basically keep the negative values also in this, which is nothing but maybe some return has happened and that's why it is there or for some reasons you have given more discount or so you are not getting a profit but the negative value so that's how you can basically go and uh, and manipulate the values which is the replacing the value so it's quite straightforward very easy and straightforward way of uh, applying the uh, replace value option with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic